Hey everybody, Money Guy here. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of videos on how to use the Sogo Trade website, how to use the Robinhood investing app, how to make money, how to invest, how to be happy and have fun. Um, first, today's video is in two parts. Um, I'm going to teach you how to use the Sogo Trade trading platform, Sogo Trade Online. And then part two is going to be Sogo Trade Trader. And those are going to be your two most used um, menus on this website. As you can see, I'm logged into my account. I've got my account number blocked here so I don't get embezzled. Um, on the account page, it gives you account overview. I'm just going to refresh that. And it shows you some basic information about your account. Here's one of my current um, holdings. My only current holding is DSLV. It's an ETF. It shows you how much it costs, uh, the quantity I have. Over here, the cash balance I have, the stock value, um, option value is zero, total account equity, and things like that. Um, that's it for the overview page. Just a very brief overview of your current situation with your account. Um, so next, we're going to go to trading platforms. Now, the reason I'm making this specific video about how to use the Sogo Trade website. All the other videos I saw on YouTube um, were four to seven years old on Sogo Trade, and they're all using the old trading platform. So I'm making a current one to show you the newest version of this trading platform, which was has been out for over two years now. So trading platform Sogo Trade Online is the menu you're going to use most to buy and sell stocks, options, ETFs, etc. Um, now you can see here at the top, I have an expanded account. I can buy stocks, ETFs, or options. Today we're going to focus on buying stocks and ETFs. First, on the drop-down menu, you have the action that you want to perform. You can buy, you can sell, you can sell short, or you can buy to cover. Today we're going to keep it simple, and we're going to click on buy. Now this DSLV that I had listed on the last page, is an ETF. It's an inverse silver ETF. And here's the last time I traded it. I filled the order a few days ago. The um, purchase price, the amount it cost me and all that. Now we're, today we're going to buy the opposite, which is USLV. And as soon as you type that in, you can see the uh, prompt comes up Credit Suisse Velocity Shares 3x Long Silver ETN. So that's the actual name of the ETF. And then the quantity, I'm going to put in 50 shares of this ETF. And over here on the right, you can see some more information came up. The last time this ETF was traded, it traded at 1416. The bid was 1307 and the ask is 1438. Now, those last two numbers are not exactly accurate because it, right now it's the weekend. The markets are closed and those numbers are skewed. Um, next over here on the left, the order type. The options you have are market order, limit order, stop order, stop limit, trailing stop, and trailing stop limit. Today we're going to keep it simple. We're going to put in a limit order. This helps you control the price uh, that you want to pay for this ETF for your shares. Um, it helps you determine the maximum price that you want to pay. You you can fill the order for less than this price. The order will fill for less th than this price, but this is the maximum that it will fill for. So I'm going to type in 14.16 because that was the last time this traded. And now the next drop down menu is day order or GTC. GTC means good till cancel. And if it was a GTC order, this order would remain open until it got filled. It would remain open forever, um, day after day. If it wasn't filled, it would stay open. So we're going to keep this simple as a day order. And now the next drop-down menu is um, special instructions, none or AON, all or none. We're going to click on AON because I want to buy all 50 shares. I don't want to buy just one or two shares and then... Um, have the rest ignored. So I clicked on AON. Now in these limit price and quantity menus, there's little scroll arrows here and it takes forever to move the price. So I just 
type it in manually. Um, so now I'm going to verify the order. It's not going to go through because I don't have enough cash in my account to buy this. But you can see more details come up. Buy 50 shares of USLV, Credit Suisse, Velocity shares 3x long, silver, duration, day order, all or none, and the last price and bid and such. The cost is $708 plus $5 commission for so good trade, which is their standard commission rate. Uh, security and exchange fee of zero and net cost of 713. Now you here you can see this red error message. I can't place the order because I didn't have enough buying power. So I can't place the order. I'm just going to cancel it. Down here you can see on the bottom of the screen more details about my current um, activity. I had some um, orders filled, some orders canceled. I filled an order on WOW. Wow, is you scroll over it and the name of the um, stock pops up, Wide Open West. It's a cable company out of California. And I bought that um, on about a week and a half ago. They had an IPO, initial public offering. Wow is just introduced to the market. And it um, I bought it at 16. Even though the order I put in was at 17, it filled at 16 as you can see over here so sometimes you do get a, catch a break and you pay um, less than what you wanted to pay so i filled that at 16 and i sold it up here this order was filled as well i sold it at 16.85 i made a profit however since i sold it that stock continues to go up i believe it was at 17.50 last friday um, here you can see where i bought my dslv and I scroll over it, Credit Suisse, Velocity Shares, 3x inverse silver ETN. So this ETF, I'm hoping the price of silver is going to go down. And this USLV, I'm hoping the price of silver is going to go up. So um, on this inverse purchase, you notice this is 3x. And on this USLV, it's also a 3x long. That means that as the price of silver goes up and down, that 3x represented a percentage of three times that the price of silver is going up or down. So if silver goes up 1% on any given day, that USLV, the, the value of it, will go up 3%. It's three times the um, value of the actual underlying security. So that's pretty much it for this page. Um, it shows your brief account balances over here. There is another trading platform called Sogo Trader, and this is going to be covered in part two. This is part one video. Part two is going to cover Sogo Trader. You can also buy and sell um, equities on this page. It gives you more detailed information about the um, equity you're wanting to research and purchase, and it also gives you a chart, a customized chart in this area. So this is just another way to, to buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and such. So that's it for today's version of Sogo Trade. Again, I'm making this video because all other Sogo Trade videos I found on YouTube are four to seven years old. They describe the old platform. So hopefully this video is helpful. Please watch part two and all my other upcoming videos about how to trade and invest in stocks, how to use the Robinhood app um, to invest. And that's it for today. I hope you guys are successful in all your trading strategies, logging out, and I'll see you soon.